everybody. The title of my presentation today is going to be about social enterprises vis-a-vis -vis social responsibilities. I do know that they say if you have a point, it's best to make a PowerPoint, but I prefer to speak to you directly because of shortage of time. Helen Keller once said, I remember, that blind blindness separates me from objects, while deafness separates me from people. I'm going to talk about our innovation, social innovation, vis-a-vis -vis making affordable hearing aids for the deaf. And in order to be called a social entrepreneurial type of person, you need to make sure that your program is sustainable, i.e. once it's funded, you'll be able to sell and make profit and you keep it going. You should have a social impact and our social impact here in making sure that the children get somehow integrated with society and not separated. And finally, it should be an agent for change. The perception of our population towards those people who suffer from any type of impairment, be it locomotive or hearing or blindness, it is, is really bad. We look at it as a stigma when unfortunately it shouldn't be the case. No, it's okay. Now I'm going to talk about the situation vis-a-vis -vis deafness in general throughout the world. We have 278 people who need hearing aid, currently who need hearing aid, 80% of whom they are in developing countries. 80% of hearing impairment occurs after birth. Please reflect on that particular statement. While the current annual production of hearing aids doesn't cover more than 10% of the needs, and only 12% of that need goes to developing countries. 12%. We have approximately one audiologist per 20,000 people. In Palestine, one per 100,000. And finally, I would like to say that about hearing impairment prevents our children if from being an active member of our society. Now I want to address the Middle East in particular, and thank you, Doctor, when you mentioned about consanguinity. It's pretty high in the Middle East, ranging from 25 up to 59%. We have lack of accessibility to the service or to the product, let alone to the service. We have lack of information. Buying a hearing aid is not like buying glasses. You should be an, info an informed consumer. And we also hardly we can talk about any prevention programs. <clears throat> and finally, the burden of that on our national budget is extremely high. Just think about every hearing aid costs approximately $700. The charging of batteries per year is around $52. That's a heck of a lot of money, by the way. So what is a hearing aid? In a, in a nutshell, sound goes inside the microphone, it gets amplified, and that particular sound comes out of the speaker into your ear. Now, you might say there are several types of hearing aids. In general, you can classify them into five, on the body, behind the ear, inside the ear, inside the canal, and completely inside the canal. And I would say there is another one inside the drawer. How many people have bought or purchased a particular hearing aid due to lack of proper service or being tuning uh, you know, for maintenance ends up in the drawer, the majority of them, unfortunately. Mm. And as you know, there are different technologies nowadays with different features. We say the more features, the better, especially if you can program it. And finally, for different settings, especially the profound type of hearing loss. So we managed to come up with three small pieces. One is called the hearing aid at a cost of a hundred dollars, and it is as good as any hearing aid you buy it from any national or international company like Phoenix or, for example, uh, Siemens and what have you. The charger for the batteries, we also made it, and we can use only sunlight for it, 
or you can use electricity for that matter. And finally, the batteries. We came up with batteries that last for five years. Five years. You can recharge them. You don't have to dump them. And that is very important indeed. So the total cost of the entire system, a hearing aid at, at a cost of $100, a rechargeable at a cost of $25, and rechargeable batteries at a cost of $2. Imagine if you were to pay $700 and approximately $52 per year on what I call batteries. Finally, I would like to say this important statement that was once made by Mark Twain. He said, kindness, I repeat, about kindness, is the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. We need to become more compassionate towards our society. Mr. Speaker, yes. I do not profess eloquency, but I do profess punctuality. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much.